In this episode, Flying Cradles, Two People in White, Three Saints in Harmony, Stella Stellucho and Stellario, Ugo Nigliaro and Harry Potter. Cassaro, Eastern Sicily, a small village in the countryside. As the slopes begin the amazing Pantalica, for the most part still unexplored, or better, in some areas, no longer visited for a hundred of years. If you are an aspiring Indiana Jones, then you are welcome. Thousands of prehistoric tombs are still waiting to be discovered. Pantalica is a UNESCO heritage site, a mixture of nature, stone men, and the little train that is no longer there. A little train that ran inside this canyon, among cliffs, a river, flying birds of prey, and 5,000 excavated tombs. It is not known how in these vertiginous cliffs of the mountain. Here in Castro there is a stop for that magical little train. Every Potter stuff. If this is not platform nine and three quarters, that mysterious station where trains left for the fantastic world of fantasy, then what should it be? Hmm, but we'll talk about it soon. A little patient and you'll know everything. We arrive in Casaro after having passed woods and going up and down repeatedly between valley floors and small hills. There are not even 1,000 inhabitants. It is a Sicily of traditions and peace. Jack Jack Flower Drone sniffs Cassaro from above and catches a lady who hangs out close on a terrace. There are houses with different colors and many have roofs with characteristic Sicilian roof tiles and stones resting on top for the wind. Many houses have their roofs uncovered, but it was not the wind in this case, but the decennial abandonment. Do you want to move to Cassaro? With not even 20,000 euros, you can find a house of 100 square meter, already renovated. The forest surrounds and wraps around the small village. Very few cars, and a football field that has never seen the Series A. We started from Piazza Matrice, and we walk around Casaro. We meet a lady who had just cooked a rabbit and she's taking it to her son in a hurry. Show us the dish, ma'am. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Goodbye. We arrive at the Ethno-Anthropological Museum. It is a beautiful noble palace of a nobleman who no longer is alive. There are many tools dedicated for the harvesting of olives. The oil of Casaro is among the best in Sicily, which is equivalent to saying among the best in the world. There is a bedroom, typical of the past, Sicilian faces, panties of our grandparents, and the naka, which is the cradle, suspended in the bed on the side of the mother that as soon as the son was asleep, stretched her arm without opening her eyes and rocked the whining Sicilian baby. There are also the typical instruments of a musical band, a characteristic feature of the Sicilian open-air festivals. We continue the walk and arrive in a town square where there are two palm trees and a couple of people chatting. We see a lady dressed in white. Questa piazza mi piace molto, sa? This is a beautiful square, ma'am. Who are you? Sicilians will visit Sicily and tell it to the whole world. Come, I'll show you my house. These Sicilians are truly incredible. They had the front door always open for travelers. She's returning home with a plate of food. The neighbor gave me peppers and caligetti. Here we used to exchange the things to eat between the families. 
Vediamo le cose, ce le scambiamo. <laughs> ah, sì? Splendid tip! The Caligid are a typical wild grass that grows thriving like many others in the Mediterranean climate of Sicily. And usually, you eat it with pork sausage. Her husband also shows up dressed in white. There are coats hanging naturally white. Do you like white? We made a vow. I am a miracle. I was dying. We go down into the kitchen. I was an atheist. I did not believe in God. I had a bad disease and I promised the Lord that if I healed, that me and my wife were dressed in white all our life. We do everything at home. Tomato sauce, jam, vegetable stock. These are orange peels. Let's go upstairs. I'll show you the rooms. We host for free. Anyone wants to come. They are such nice people. We live with a heavy heart. Jack Jack Fly resumes his flight over the roofs of Cassaro and heads towards the church of Sant'Antonio Abate. It's gorgeous. It is decorated with wonderful angels, one of which curiously is turned upside down. Reminds everyone that the world was on the contrary before the coming of Jesus. Bonfiglio, the traffic cop, tells us, a kind of ethno-anthropologist in uniform. There is also a beautiful organ on a green stage. The only woman mayor in the history of Cassaro, Mirella Grasso, explains that in Cassaro there are three patron saints, Sebastian, Joseph and Anthony, one for every 300 inhabitants. Since the township cannot afford to finance the three feasts during the year, then they work as shift once every three years for everyone's in peace. Sant'Antonio San Giuseppe il terzo? San Sebastiano. We're out again. In an abandoned house we enter. A philosophy notebook. This one has some cooking recipe. So here live the professor and a cook. There is a woman at the door, clothes hanging and a dog barking. Her name is Stella. She stays out all day. Then when my husband comes back, she comes back also. We leave while Stella keeps barking. Speaking of Stella, it looks like it's a common name around here. Returning to the mother church, the traffic cop and the local historian Professor Stelluccio were waiting for us with his grandfather called Stellario. Crazy stuff. In other words, the situation is the following. The dog is called Stella, which means star. The professor is called Stelluccio, that is little star. And his grandfather Stellario, always meaning something with the stars. Cassaro was born in the valley, at the bottom, in the midst of rivers and woods, and there was the old castle. Then, gradually, the town moved up here. The door of the mother church is open. Stuff for smashing Sicily. We can, as usual, not climb the bell tower. Here is another step ladder. It brings to the clock connected to the bells. Soon it will ring. We better sneak out. Cassaro is the smallest town in the province of Syracuse. It is located in the Anopo Valley a kingdom of unspoiled nature that allows you to hear the sounds of plants and animals. Coming to Cassaro is a journey into the past, where life is regulated by the rhythm of the sun, where people are hospitable, and where food is genuine. And then let me tell you, 
Castaro oil is the best in Sicily. We are waiting for you with open arms. We are in the main course, if the main course can be defined this way. There is a bar on the left and the sun on the right, and Sicilians, like lizards, chase the sun. Inside you play cards. We continue on foot. The cemetery. Let's go in. They are monumental tombs. Buildings inhabited by ghosts. It's a real city of the dead. Here Lovecraft would have put a chair and his typewriter. Hmm, all these deceased people made me hungry. Let's see who's hosting us today. A red house. Hey, but that is the Sindaco. I mean the Sindaca. What it means is that the Sindaco is the male mayor. The Sindaca is the female mayor. No, no, si accomodi. Silvana. Pleasure, Silvana. Take a seat. <laughs> This is our wedding photo. Qua Cassaro in Chiesa Madre là sopra. Questa è una pasta buonissima. Mirella vorrà assaggiare. Mamma mia, what a wonderful table. This is a very good pasta. Sausage and broccoli. Then we have rabbit in diluted version, which is with olives, vinegar, onions, wild fennel meatballs, apple quince jam, cannoli, chickpeas stewed, broad beans, and borage. Picked up in our countryside. The mayor is next to me and kindly serves me from time to time. She even dropped some olives on my pants. <laughs> Mrs. Mayor, you're not suited to serve guests. <laughs> the meal proceeds in a big way, and we talk about a lot of Sicily. Silvana Sand, in front of me, has emigrated to Australia and must leave tomorrow. She remembers her youth in Sicily. The nicknames that all Sicilian men had come to mind. <laughs> Silvana's father, for example, was called the sergeant. Angelo to my left is known as Ugunigliaro, the rabbit man. Maybe because my grandfather was quick to work. At the end of the lunch, we conclude with a toast of the place, launched by the mayor. Come in Sicily for the good life. Now it's time to dispose of this diabolical lunch. Here is the strong, powerful dish of Casaro, nature. We take Via Anapo, which starts from the center of the town and bears the same name as the river we are going to meet. We are excited. We are about to enter the world of fantasy. Hey, that's probably a Sicilian wizard. I am picking asparagus. They are great for omelette. No, he wasn't a wizard. Here we are at platform nine and three quarters of Casaro. Harry Potter is certainly around, along with some prehistoric Sicilian gods. Here is the ancient railway station that will soon become a place where you can sleep. Sleeping in the kingdom of nature Beautiful dreams guaranteed. We're leaving, but on foot. We dive into the Pantalica Canyon, a UNESCO heritage site. Wonderful. We pass a series of tunnels. We sneak into tombs of the past, 
We pass other stations on the platform nine and three quarters. We take a footbath in the river and go up to the prehistoric village. Amazing Sicily. Fantastic Casaro.